If I could ask any of you to identify someone in the crowd who is gay, could you do it? Bisexual, transgender, probably not. Just based on appearance alone, no one can with 100% accuracy identify someone's sexual orientation or their gender. But the reality is 3.8% of the population in the US is in some form um, in the LGBT community. Just in Illinois alone, 60% of the LGBT community is located within Chicago. So all of you who do live in Chicago, um, you're exposed to the diversity of the community and knowing a little bit about the LGBT community would benefit you. So today I'm gonna break down the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender identities within the community, give you a little background so you're a little more familiar with it. Starting with the L, lesbian. Um, in the 17th century BC Greek era, uh, the word lesbian derives from a poet who was located on an island called Lesbos. She wrote love poems and uh, women would go there to learn about writing love stories, so they were called lesbians. Since then, it's been reclaimed as an identity marker for the sexuality where a female is sexually attracted to another female. Moving on to the G. This is the most popular um, identity that people are familiar with. It's the most, uh, receives the most media attention, is the most publicized, and you see it all over the place. Um, it derives, it was originally used as a slang term for uh, female prostitutes. Since then, it's transgressed from um, always being slang terms, generally something negative connotations, but the gay community has reclaimed it now as um, a positive identity marker, and it's commonly used for male identified people attracted to other male identified people. Moving on to B, you don't hear a lot of the bisexual identity. Um, just to break it down simply for you, it's um, any person who identifies as male or female also attracted to people of male or female identities. I wanted to spend the most time on the T. It doesn't receive pretty much any attention in the media and it's the most familiar for people in the community, it stands for transgender. Um, the reason why it's not really talked about is because the other three deal with sexual orientation. Transgender talks about a person's gender identity. In our society, we're kind of taught to clump sex and gender together when they're really separate. Uh, to put it in the simplest of terms, your gender is between your ears. So it's how you think of yourself and how you present yourself to society and sex is between your legs. It's your biological genitalia, um, what your body looks like. To be transgender means that um, whatever sex you're born with doesn't match with the gender that you identify yourself with. Um, and there's a trans umbrella. The word trans can include intersex people, uh, transvestites, transgender people, and all over the place. So by breaking um, the four identities down for you today, we talked a little bit about um, lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender. By you knowing about this and being a member of the Chicago community, it helps you understand the diversity of the community and um, be more open-minded to the people you meet. Just remember that when you meet somebody, never assume their gender or their sex. You can't know until you either ask them or they 